Hi, this is Kevin with KGM GM Owner Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to proadvertisers.com and join for free today and start advertising for free. Okay, Amazing Spider-Man, Once Upon a Time There Was a Robot, number 37. Uh, this is a Silver Age. I don't know if it's a Grail. It's the first appearance of Norman Osborn. Uh, definitely going after it. I'm going to go after it just once. As you can tell, they have started the MCP, and that is where you take these points over here. If you look on the left, that 649,000, that is MCP points that you collect. And you on the right is how you collect them per day. And if you look under 649, that's what I'm getting per day. And the, you get them for holding collectibles and comics and for participating in the feed and participating in the store, buying and selling and stuff like that. So getting back to here, what you would do while well, they closed it. So I, at five minutes, you can't do it anymore. You can't even join the wait list, but you would go in and you can minimum of 5,000 points and they take all the bids from all the people that put it in. And if you got the top 40% or whatever the number is, you automatically as long as you got the gems to purchase it, can purchase the drop. And on this drop, I don't think it's a big deal. I definitely did not use any MCP points. I don't know why anybody would. There's 7,500 editions. This might or might not sell out. Um, again, I don't see it as a major grail. It is a first appearance of Norman Osborn. Uh, so I think that's the green goblin person. And all that, but uh, so I, yeah, I, I don't think uh, anybody's really going to use MCP points on this. There's no need to, but you could if you wanted to. But what I'm my strategy is going to be is with the future drops coming. Or let's go back to here. We got three minutes. Let's go look at these future drops. And it's a little bit of a carrot on a stick. Um, you got. It's the Spider-Man comic, and then you got the Daredevil tomorrow, I think. Or no, and Thursday. No, wait, what's today? So, yeah, today's Tuesday, so it'll be Thursday. And then you got the Year of the Dragon, which has a gold, uh, very, or is that, yeah. Let's take a look at that. There's two of them, I think, yeah. And it's only 20 gems, but very low mint, so people might use it on that. I'm still debating. I might... I don't think you need to use it on this. There's plenty of stamps. Not a lot of secret rare, but a lot of, uh, what is that, rare of the stamps. And then on the Rabbids, how many of those? There's only one drop, 1688. So maybe on that, if you really had to have it type thing. But um, the, the it's going to intensify. Because the gamification of the NCP points is what's going to drive the whales and the higher ends. And uh, the smaller guys, not so much. We're, uh, I know I'm a master collector, but I don't, I'm don't. i definitely not a whale. Uh, I've attained master collector for the past two, three years by slowly and steadily you know, building it up, flipping, and doing it that way. Uh, I'm not a big purchaser by any means. So... Uh, Let's get back to the drop today. So I think that's going to intensify. I think it's really good for the app. You're going to need more MCP points for the bigger drops. So even the smaller guys might start buying stuff that they would not normally buy just to start stockpiling MCP points. So it's a really thought out process. It's The impact is to be determined. I think it's good. I think it's going to be good. And we'll wait and see. Um, I, even though I haven't been making videos for the last week or so, I've still been DCAing and, uh, we'll go look at that real quick after the drop. Uh, I kind of changed tune though for the Hulk drop. Uh, there was only 5,000 issues and it still hasn't sold out, but, uh, I took, I, I, I got the drop and I got the secret rare and I flipped it for 80 gems 
or 85 gems. And then I started buying, you know, out of the store, just messing around. I, I really, it, it was a good low mint to go after because it is a low mint. And it is the first appearance of Immortal Hulk, but, you know, not a grail, not my Silver Age, um, you know, game plan. My, if you don't know, if you're not, I've never seen any of my videos before, I am opening up a, it's already open, it's a store that has, I'm going to concentrate on Silver Age comics and Golden Age. And we only, in the comments, just the common covers. Now, I collect the other stuff, but as far as stocking the store, for in the future that you know people will come to me to get them type thing uh it's silver age and golden age and we only got one golden age on the platform right now and that's the very first marvel comics drop okay let's see if i got in okay i got it so i'm gonna buy now now if i got the secret rare would i flip it and then try to do what i did with the hawk because i'm gonna show you i did pretty good with that okay let's see I got number 4107, so not a great mint. Well, it's about halfway, and the rarity will be determined in a few minutes. So, okay, let's go look at what I've done on the... Um, first, let's come in and see if I can just go back in. And sometimes... Nope, not yet. Okay, so we'll wait a few minutes. But let's see the Hulk down here still for several. Watch this. I've never seen this before. I've never bought this many out of the actual drop. Max limit reached. So I guess the I have 21 editions. And I turned all that in from the $6.99 price. And I just kept flipping and buying and selling. And I ended up with all these commons. Remember my initial one was a, was a, a secret rare. And I dropped that. And I got an uncommon. I got a, a, and I ended up with two secret rares. But I sold, I got an ultra rare, which I sold. And a rare that I sold. And I just kept selling and buying until it wouldn't let me no more. And I didn't know there was a max of buying. I knew there was a max of some items that will say one or two sometimes. But um, so I found that out on accident. So if you weren't aware of that, that is the case. So uh, why the Avengers? Uh, well, one, it was a low mint. Two, I was just trying something new. I, I, I got the secret rare. I was convinced it was going to plummet, and it did. It plummeted down to uh, $60, I think, at one point. And um, then I – so I just kept getting, you know, out of the store and then flipped a couple more things and ended up – for six ninety nine, dollars it ended up with 21 comics and two of them secret rare. So not a bad deal at all. Um uh, but no particular reason. It is a low mint. It is the first appearance of Mortal Hulk. So I think this will, uh, this is a very dark story. I don't know if Marvel will ever touch it as far as uh, the Marvel Universe on TV or a movie. Uh, but they could make it work, and it does. You know, this will be a very big comic probably. Uh, for collectors, it will be big just because it's a first appearance, and it's very low mint. So anyway, experiment it. Came out kind of on top. Let's see. If, now, would I do that again if I get a secret rare here? Probably. I'll probably try it again. And I got a common, number 4107. So now what I do now is, that's a, um, this is a Silver Age. So I will just sit on it. I won't try to, you know, I won't sell it for a loss, which it probably will come out at seven or eight bucks, maybe five. And then I will stack this eventually to 10 because one's for me and nine's for flipping. That's my strategy. Okay. And if you're going to do this, I not financial advice, listen to me at your own risk, entertainment purposes only, but you need to come up with a strategy. Otherwise you're going to be all over the place and everybody gets a store. It's included in the price of, you know, of the fees and all that. You get a free store. You can buy and sell on the market. And pick something, maybe it will be golden moments. You just want to, and I've thought about opening up a store just doing that. Um, and I think probably in the long run, you do very well. But you, by concentrating on one item or one, you know, maybe just you open up an amazing Spider-Man store. It doesn't even have to be Secret Rares. Maybe you open up a um, Venom store. It's nothing but Venom comics, you know, whatever. Do something that's like dedicated 
so that you're not all over the place. Is that making any sense? That, that's what I'm doing anyway. It makes it a lot more simpler. The reason I picked common covers, one, they're cheap right now, very affordable. I can get a lot of them. Um, but I think the hardcore collectors are going to want that common cover because unlike candy, where they all five rarities have the same cover, VV, the original cover is only in the common. And then they change the next four covers in some way, shape, or form. So if you're a hardcore collector, you're going to want these common covers. So I think the return on them over time will be very good for what you get into it. Uh, right now, I'm purchasing over on Candy $5 common or uncommon Golden Age DC comics. And I will continue to get those until they're no longer under 10 bucks. I, I can't believe people are letting those go. You paid $20 for those minimum. But that's that's a strategy of mine. And now the covers are the same as the legendary; they're just different grades. But and the uncommon is the worst out of all of them. But it's also a lot less mint, so it kind of balances out. Um, but again, it's just coming up with a strategy, sticking to it. And let's go and look how I'm doing on all of the different issues. So like, here we go. Like I, I changed course on this Avengers. I was messing around. I did pretty good. I lucked out. Um, this juggernaut first appearance, this is a silver age. So I will be stacking those right now. I think I only got the one. Let's see how many I got. Yeah. So I got nine to go and I'll get to that. And they're, they're pretty cheap. So hopefully I got time to finish it out. This Iron Man is on the board. It's probably not a Silver Age, and if it is, I'll be stacking it. Amazing Spider-Man, I finally maxed that out. And I was buying them between $8 to $12. And right now it's at $12.85. But I've got my 10 Yep, so I'm happy. I'll move on to the next one. But the ideal of DCAing and having so many different ones that I'm getting. Now, the Hulk is a little bit more expensive. And I think I only got one or two of those. And one of those is an uncommon. So I got nine more to go. Uh, but they're, you know, 30 bucks. So I got to um, flip. And when I get a big chunk of, you know, 30 or more, I'll go start stacking the Hulks and stuff. Marvel Comics. This is the only Golden Age. It is the first comic of Marvel. The first comic dropped by VV. It's got all the checklists for a, a grail. Definitely, you want to get some of these. And I think I have five. Now, I had a whole bunch back in the day when it first dropped, but I sold them all off. And they're going for 32 bucks. This thing was as high as, I think, $400 at one point. And it's now down to 32. So, and there's a shitload of them. There's like 48,000. But this is a must have. At least one. Get one for your collection, at least. And if you're going to flip them, I would recommend getting as many as you can. Uh, I would love to get the other, you know, let's see what the secret is. This one is going for as high as 80,000 at one point. Now it's for four grand. I would love to get my hands on one of those. That, that is a super grill. Uh, but let's go through them all real quick. So all of these comics are good, except I'm just going after my own strategy. But every single one of these comics is a first appearance, first issue, something that makes it important in the Marvel Universe. Now, let me tell you something. These Tarzans are a sleeper, very low mint. And I still think you can get the secret rares for like 25 bucks. I own one. Like this one's going for 99. I don't know if they're selling for that, but that's what it's going for. The um, there's there's only on a secret rare 138 editions, so probably around 100 available to the public because of what they hold back. But I think they're a sleeper, the the Tarzan. So I'm I'm going to try to get more. If I I might have missed the boat on those already because you saw that one was at 100. But they're usually been going for about 25, 35. Um, there's the ja Jaggernaut that we looked at. And again, all these comics are good. I'm just going after my strategy. So let's see. See, there's another Tarzan. Let's go look at that. I think I missed the boat on these. Now it's only 29. Okay, I'm probably going to go grab that one. So I think that, again, I'm going to call that out. Those Tarzan secret rares are a sleeper. 
and it's it's not a Marvel comic. It's an e, EBT or yeah, ERB. Okay, Star Wars, not a not a um, Silver Age, but it, I think it's a Grail. It's the first issue of the original Star Wars. There's a lot of them. I think I got five, and I need I need some more. I got only got two. I got to start stacking those. Uh, this cover right here, though, the Uncommon, I'm definitely going to stack. I just love that cover. Love that poster. Always have. Those two things, to me, represent the best of Star Wars. The, the first movie and those posters. That's when I think of Star Wars, that's what I think of. Empire Strikes Back's good. Didn't really care much for the Return of the Jedi. Uh, I thought it was... I just didn't care for it for whatever reason. Um, and I didn't like any of the other Star Wars movies like I did the first two movies, especially the first one. And let me tell you a little story about that Star Wars movie. If George Lucas had had, it, had his way, it would have been an awful movie. And you're like, well, what the hell do you mean? His wife at the time was the editor. And if you look at some of the original movie... It would have been off. She cut up that movie and put it in the order that made it into the, what the movie is today. And I will always love her for that. She did such a good job. It makes you. It, it it tells you how important a team is. He made a great movie, but he would not have known it if he had done the editing himself because of the way he was going to do it. You can go on YouTube and watch some videos. There's parts that they cut out that were so bad. It would have just messed up the movie. And and I know it's going to irk some people about that. I mean, George Lucas was a genius. I'm, I'm not saying he wasn't. I'm just saying he also had all the right team. Everything worked, and it just, wow. And I, and I always think that way. I always think that way. There's a little Star Wars history. Um, I, I despise and hate the new Marvel shit, and I despise the directors and the writers of what they've done to Disney. That's just me. I just, and I think a lot of people feel that way. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man number 41, that is a silver. I will be stacking those. Uh, X-Men number 14, that is not even sold out yet in the store, but that's a grail. Not a grail, but a, a silver age. I'll be getting that first appearance of the Sentinels. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. A strange tells silver age of uh, first appearance of eternity. Good one to stack. Very cheap. Adam Warlock is not a silver age, but I'll be stack. I'll be stacking all these eventually right now. I'm, I should say I'm just concentrating on the silver age. Fantastic four. Number two. How many of these do I got? They're up to six twenty five. And five editions. Guys, this is an excellent price. There's only there's only 7,500 of these in the whole series. In the whole mint. And 4,500. That's for Fantastic number, number two. First appearance of the scrolls. That is an unbelievable price. There's another Tars. And let's go check out what his secret rare is. Now, are they selling or just being delisted? I don't know. But the prices are creeping up on these secret rares. They might be out of reach already for some of us. Both of these Fantastic Fours are, are definitely stackable. I'm not concentrating on that yet. I, I use my DCA for the drop today, so I will not be dca in. Uh, this one right here, the New Mutants First Appearance of Deadpool. Definite, definite. I sold a bunch of these in in the day, and now I'm ready to restock. And they're at three fifty a piece. And how many do I got? I own one edition. I got to get on the ball here, guys. I'm gonna miss out. I got to get nine more of those. There's just so much to do. I'm only DCA in ten dollars a day, and and more if I can flip. And that's 45. So yeah, they're they're between 30 and 100. Maybe there's one for 300 right now. Okay, this one right here. Not a first appearance of anybody, but the first issue of the Avengers. Definite grail. Way behind the eight ball in this. I sold mine in 
on the drop, and I sold it for like 80 bucks or 80 gems. And um, it's now you can get it for 20. So definitely stackable. And I got two additions, so I need to get hopping on this. The new mutants number one I'll stack. There's two more Silver Age I'll be stacking, number 12 and number 66 of the Fantastic Four. Amazing Spider-Man, that's a Silver Age. Uh, tells of Suspense, definitely. This Thor I got to get back into. Boy, this got real big when it first dropped because it was the first 10,000 mint. The Scorpion, that's another big one to get. Here's the, the first appearance of the Black suit. I'll be stacking that. Captain America, Tales of Suspense. All the Tales of Suspenses are Silver Age. We only got one issue that's Golden Age, and that's at Marvel's number one. What is that? Avengers number 16. That's a Silver Age. X Factor number one. Be stacking that. I don't know what to do with the Hit Monkey. I stacked that in the early days, and I, I'm down crazy on it. I'm hanging on to them, but I don't know if they ever, if it's ever going to take off, if ever. Avengers uh, number 57 versus Appearance of the Vision, definitely stack those. Journey into Mystery number one, stacking those. Now, here's a good example of what's going on. Uh, I've got this for sale right now for buck fifty on the Secret Rare. And they sold one for a buck thirty, so the the floor is very thin. There I am at the top. Uh, somebody's going to probably come in and undercut me on the price, or they always do. But it, it's not really selling yet. But it's just, it's at that position where it could just take off at any moment. You just don't know. So I've got several of these, so I put it up there. I'm going to flip it and try to get something else. I bought it for a hundred from a flip. But that's definitely stackable. First appearance of Sergeant Fury. Very good price right now. Definitely stackable. First appearance of the Blob. X-Men. Definitely stackable. Strange Tales. Definitely stackable. Journey into Mystery. I got to get... I think I got one of these. Or I just bought another one the other day. So I got two. But I'm, I'm trying... Uh, yeah, I got two of them. I'm trying to get to 10 before the next bull run. That's what I'm up against the clock. When's the next bull run? I got one of these. And I, I had flipped like about three or four items. And I had enough. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go get one. I got I got it for $249. It's still at $250, which is incredible. Being that it's the first appearance of Spider-Man. This is probably the number one Silver Age comic you want. So I would say this is the second best comic compared to... Now, I'm not talking about low-mint comics. Those are a different kind of value, and they're more valuable, you know, cost more money. But um, as far as collecting, this is probably the second best comic next to the Marvel, in my opinion. Spider-Man number 121, stackable. Uh, not, not a Silver Age, though. Amazing Spider-Man number 4, Silver Age. Here's two Tarzans right here. Let's go check out. See what's going on. Yeah, that's still for 30. What's this one? I mean, there it's a sleeper, but it hasn't taken off yet, but it could change. There's just so few. There's a hundred or less. Hundred or less of these secret rares. <clears throat> Maybe that's what your store is. Maybe you just you know, buy and sell secret rares. And it's not that any strategy is bad. It's just which one do you want to do? There's the Hulk we looked at already. Now, the only one I don't have in the Silver Age right now is Iron Man. And I got that on the drop of common, and I sold that for like 80 gems, the same thing. And now it's about 40. This one is a sleeper. This is very low mint. 5,000 mints, I believe. And I think I've only got one. Yes, and there's only 5,000 mints. This is a definite sleeper, as low as the mints are. First appearance of the um, Black Widow. Tells of suspense number 45. Ghost Rider. 
Definitely stackable, number one. Not, or, uh, yeah. No, it's Marvel Spotlight, number five. First appearance, though, of the Ghost Rider. Here's two more that are stackable. The first appearance of Loki and the Amazing Spider-Man. First appearance of the Falcon. Or, no, that's the um, Vulture. Definitely. Probably the third best one to collect would be the giant size X-Men number one. First appearance of the X-Men. The new X-Men. I'm sorry. The new X-Men. I got to get going on those. Fantastic Four. I've got nine. I need one more. What's that going for today? $12. That's, I've been getting them for between eight and 12, just like Spider-Man. Again, a shitload of them. I got nine. I need one more. To complete that stack. This one right here. Amazing Spider-Man number 14. There's a lot of them. But first appearance of the Green Goblin. Got to get it. Let's see what else is going on. X-Men number 4. Definitely stackable. First appearance. Of, I think that's first appearance of Wanda. Or no, the Scarlet Brotherhood or whatever. Strange Tales, number 110. The first appearance of Doctor Strange. Definitely, definitely getting it. Stacking it. I mean, any you could throw a dart at any one of these comics and they're very collectible and valuable. Uh, Fantastic 452. Not a, might be a Silver Age, might not, but yeah, 12 cents at Silver Age. But it's first appearance of the Black Panther. Huge. First appearance of Doctor Doom. Let's see what that's going for. I think I got five of these. Six. Okay, I got four more to go. All right, Miles Morales, first appearance. I don't have any of these. I sold mine. And I've yet to buy back in at thirteen fifty. And yep, I have none. I better get on the ball. He's going to be out of reach. This one I put it up for sale. It did not sell. I took it off. And it's at seventy. I picked it up for forty. There's only a thousand of these. It's a Silver Age Avengers number fifty-two. And the reason there's only a thousand and only in the common cover is because. Um, it was dropped specially from a show. Fantastic Four number six, definite Silver Age. I don't. I think I have one of those from the drop, and that's it. Venom first appearance. I have none of those. It's up to about a hundred bucks now. And let's see what else we got. Yeah, but you could, like I said, you could throw a dart at any of this and hit a top-notch. Comic. There it is. I do not have any of the Iron Man. They're going for about $40 right now. So that's the next one I'm going to get. So at least I have... I, I need one for my collection before it takes off. Okay. Avengers number 81. Or no, number 47. That is the first appearance of Wanda and Petro. Silver Age, definitely. Daredevil number one. Need I say any more? Let me see how many I got. I think I got nine. And they're only at 880. There's a shitload of them. 21,000, but worth it. And I've got six, so I need to get on the ball here. Spider Man Marvel Team Up number one. No first appearances, but number one. Now, this one right here, The Amazing Spider Man number 130. It is about that time we'll do it again if they're going to do it. And that is Marvel Unlimited. you got to go join and become a Marvel Plus annual, you know, Plus member. And they send you this free, uh, uh, through email, they send you a code that you can use on Vivi. And for the last two years, they've done it. This was the first one they did. I sold mine for like 1200 And I have not bought back in. It's down to 375 But here's the thing. There's only... There's supposed to be 5,000 of these, but not everybody turned in the code. So nailing exactly how many are available is unknown. It's it's hasn't been done yet. Yeah, 5,100 editions. That was the first one. Then the second one 
which should be coming up here. Because we're almost through all the comics. We've pretty much done all the Silver Age. First appearance of the Dazzler. Definitely wanting, or should I say Taylor Swift? Everybody thinks Taylor Swift's going to do it. There's another Tarzan. The Eternals, number one. Not a Silver Age, but I'll be stacking that. I loved that Eternals movie. A lot of people didn't like it. I loved it. Spider-Man, number three. First appearance of Doc Doc. I got six of those. Luke Cage for hire. Definitely got to get more of those. I've already got anything maxed out of 10. I, I'm kind of trying to get at least one issue. I'm afraid it's going to take off on me. So I'm trying to get at least one issue of all the Silver Age. And it's been kind of slowing me down as far as stacking. And then I did something like the other day with the Hulk drop. But where's that last comic? This That Fantastic Four, that's another 1,000. The Amazing Spider-Man 252, only 1,000 dropped, but they had them all covers. So very valuable comic. It's Fantastic Four here, only 1,000 common covers dropped. I did not get one. And we should be at the bottom. And here we are. This is the bottom. And this is the other one. Now, they only did 1,800 of these. Same thing. I dropped mine for 1,200. It sold immediately and when it first came out. Uh, but there's not, not everybody has turned in the code. So there's way less than 1,850 editions. So this is going to be a very rare, hard to get. It's not a big deal. It's the first appearance of Sunfire, but it's not a, a huge deal except to the fact that it's very low mint and that was the only way to get it. So it, uh, I don't know when the cutoff, if they, they don't announce it, they just do it, but they've always done it. I want to say in February or March. So I, I'm keeping my eye open and I'll make a video if, and when I get one, if they do it. And, um, and that's about it. So look, VV's taking its time. It's doing it right. I still feel very confident about this platform. Um, they're just getting stronger every day and it's going to get, it's, I think it's going to explode one day, absolutely explode when it's realized. Now, can things change? Yeah. I'm always looking for that red flag, but other than them going slow and taking their time and do it right, I, I can't come up with any red flags. I really can't. Um, everything that they suffer from is what the entire industry suffer from is right now. And that is getting new members, uh, but they all, all of them have a, a cult-like strong following, you know, so that keeps them going. But I don't see anything knocking Vivi off its pedestal, not with these IPs. And all Vivi's got to do now is, is get the metaverse up and running that you can participate in and then get some utility going. And, I mean, the sky's the limit once they do that. It just depends on what they want to do. Right now, it's just a collector's app. And it might be that's all it ever is. But I, I think it's going to be a lot more than that. A lot more. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Go to Pro Advertisers Club. Check that out if you get a chance. Um, leave a comment if you want. And I know how important your time is. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.